A call to the North Midfield uh, School Committee meeting in order of May 16, 2018, for the Police Corps Road. Mr. Lombardi? Here. Mr. Bassett? Here. Mrs. Jovianis? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Mrs. Mayo? Here. Mrs. Nato? Here. And Mrs. Vada? So as you can imagine, they're very excited 
about this opportunity. Uh, they have created a really moving and beautiful work. They have an 8 by 10 canvas um, where they have replicated a work of Salvador Dali called The Face of War. Um, the work is about the Spanish Civil War, and of course they are, they, um, they are concentrated and concentrated on the theme of conflict and compromise. Through their research, which was quite considerable, they found several people that had compromised their life um, to the cause of the Spanish Civil War. And so each one of them represents a historic person that they found through their research. One of them is uh, Gary Picaro, who was a photographer who was killed documenting the, the Civil War. Another is Archibald um, Steening, who was a uh, Republican captain during the Spanish Civil War. Francisco Lorca, who was a poet and playwright, who was um, executed by the Nationalists in 1937. And another is a nun who was killed because she refused to deny her religion. Um, they are dressed in black, with black masks. They have a very integrated um, performance that they do that not only, uh, not only uses the arts as, as visual arts, but also movement and music, and they bilingually present their stories, which are very powerful. So I can't tell you how proud I am of these students, and I just hope that you will give them your full consideration so that they can go forward and have an amazing opportunity in, um, at the University of Maine. Thank you. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Does anybody have any questions in regards to the consent agenda? Anybody want any items taken on? Yes, I actually do. Um, under 5A1 and 5B1. Okay, so taken off. Anyone have anything else? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to pass consent agenda except for 5A1 and D1. Motion to be made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? You guys have it. Regardless of the subject or grade level she was teaching, Mrs. Maroney loved her students. At the end of every year, as we were developing our list for the upcoming school year, she always requested the big boys who didn't know what to do with themselves. The first time she made this request, I was slightly taken aback because it seemed a little weird, um, until I realized that she was actually stacking her class for our dear kickball tournament. <laughs> When those students entered her class, Mrs. Maroney would take them under her way and help them navigate the school year. It wasn't uncommon for me to see Monica sitting with her boys on a bench during recess discussing Star Wars or Minecraft. When I would ask her about it, she would tell me that she just let them talk to her, and she would pretend to know what they were talking about. Her love for her girls matched that of her boys. Mrs. Maroney's ladies were the mayors of our school. They were always responsible for the technology of her classroom, distribution of papers, and preparing the class for the day. They always were the first in line as the kids walked from one space to another. Mrs. Maroney absolutely had the reputation of being very stern. She held her students to high expectations, and she would not accept otherwise. 
Despite the varied academic abilities of her students, Monica ensured that they all learned. Her students never failed an assignment, especially in math. It was her duty to teach the content, and she did so until her students understood it. One thing that's not commonly known about Monica is her generosity. She regularly purchased gift cards for struggling families and each year adopted an entire family for Christmas. When Monica told me she was retiring, she did so quietly and asked me to keep it between us. As much as I wanted to publicize it and shout the many years of her dedication, I respected her wishes and allowed her to retire in the same manner that she taught for so many years, quietly and without bravado. I hope you join me in wishing Mrs. Maroney a healthy and happy retirement and thank her for giving so much love to our district. So,
in the recent U.S. News and World Report ranking. So not only for in the state, but one of the top ranked high schools in the country. So congratulations to George Smithfield High School. Mr. McGee is here, the teacher. myself are meeting with the uh, on the town side with the task force and we're just finalizing our RFP to put it out for construction at Hallowell and the start construction of the science labs at the young high school. So we're very close right. Great. Thank you. Congratulations everyone. Uh, old business. Anybody have any questions? Old business. Do you have anything on either budgets at this point? I just had a request. Uh, our June meeting is scheduled for June 19th, the school committee meeting. And normally we have like one meeting at the end of the year to approve the final uh, disbursements um, and also to approve the budget appropriation for next year. I didn't know if you um, had any open days to schedule another meeting the following week or maybe move that meeting saying that it's just one week prior to. So next meeting is, did you say, what's the day, the 19th? June 19th. You call us, and we'll, what would you prefer, and then we'll see if we can go to the 26th. Where is that? Yeah, we'll see if we can get that done. Okay. Uh, Everybody have their calendar? Somebody come in and say, 
Well, you know, we don't know if the person you're replacing is coming back or not, so don't make plans. Uh, I'm not comfortable doing it.